Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and today I wanted to just show off my little concrete sculpture. Actually, it's a cement mortar, but we don't need to be technical. Um, this is a replacement for the, the scarecrow uh, made out of paper mache clay that we tried to waterproof. <laughs> in the, I think it was last month and it totally didn't work. So uh, I decided to see if it would be possible to make a sculpture in a kind of a fun way. Uh, using many of the same techniques that we use when we're using the paper mache clay, but use the cement instead, and, and I, I kind of like it. <laughs> now let me tell you a little bit more about this guy. I have to run inside right now because we have a, a major storm on the way, and it's going to start raining in the, like in seconds. So I gotta gotta run inside. Okay, I got safely inside just before the downpour started. We've got some thunder going on. I'm not going to do a how-to video uh, for this guy because I did so many different things. I've been reading so many different books, uh, reading all sorts of articles. So it was a little of this, a little of that, and I'm just trying to find uh, the, the easiest, um, most economical way to do it. What I did find were some excellent recipes for cement mortars from Andrew Goss that are just as easy to use as paper mache clay. Andrew's website is so incredibly helpful that I went ahead and bought his book and I'm using two of his recipes. One of them is a sanded mortar that has fibers in it and that is used for strength. Uh, there's only maybe a half an inch of cement on the outside of this little guy, so I can easily lift him still. There's really not a whole lot of concrete on there. The final mortar that I used is the one that he uses for jewelry, actually. It's about as clay-like as you can get with cement. Some of the ingredients in Andrew's recipes are just a little bit hard to find, and you do have to get them online. Uh, some of them are fairly heavy, so I'll explain that in the article that goes with this uh, video, and I'll put a link to it down below. I also found, thanks to Daryl, one of my readers, a YouTube video by a lady in the UK who does figure sculptures. Uh, where she spreads cement over the fabric and uses it to make really nicely draped figure sculptures. I'm going to leave a link to that down below in the description. And that was what gave me the idea of going to the Goodwill store and buying some, um, just some clothes for my little boy. This project also gave me a really good excuse for using up some old latex paint that was down in the basement. This idea came from a book about building emergency shelters, actually. I'll put a link down below. And I uh, used it on the burlap and wrapped it around the wire armature. Um, I have a really hard time bending rebar, and this allowed me to have a really stiff armature with lighter wire. Okay, it sounds like the lightning is getting just a little bit too close for comfort and I don't trust my surge protector, so I'm going to end this video. But before I do, I do have a question for you that I hope you'll help me with. Even though I couldn't make a how-to video with this little guy because I was experimenting with so many different techniques and I did so many things over again, once I do get it figured out, do you want me to make some how-to videos and put them up on this channel and my blog, or would you prefer that I keep to paper mache because that's kind of what you signed up for? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.